defined function in the Spark. So uh, we are going to learn about how to create user defined function in the Spark and utilize the inbuilt function how it works. Uh, if you watched my previous lecture, we worked with the Spark inbuilt function and but Spark also allow user to define their own functionality wrapper inside a user defined function that can be invoked in a Spark SQL. The major benefit of UDF is a reusability. So if you create a function in the same session, it can be reused. The UDF exists as per session. Don't persist within the underlying meta store. Let's are considering the simple function that return the last two digits of release year's value example. Uh, if I pass 20, 21, it should be re written 21. So let's uh, do this one, right? So uh, as my previous lecture, I'm creating movie, and then first time, what I'm doing, I'm dividing by 10. So 2021. If I divide by 10, then it will be 202, right? It will be three digits. Again, then I'm doing ampersand, so it will uh, give that uh, remind. And then I'm um, adding years by uh, same years uh, by ampersand, so it will give the last digit. And then uh, doing the addition because I'm converting into string. And then finally again converting into a string. So if you see this example, I'm passing this years and it's returning like two zero zero one. It's returning zero one. So now let's uh, talk about inbuilt function. UDF can also define the PySparks. PySpark UDF require data to be moved between JVM and Python, so causing them to be slower than the Scala. So, if you really want to use UDF, use the Scala. UDF, this is issue with resolve the pandas. UDF is also known as vectorized UDF, and pandas UDF use the Apache arrows data transfer con uh, circumstances to need to serialization and peg because Apache arrow format data uh, consumables in the Python. So, let's see. So, here I'm using the upper. Uh, it's converting the uppercase. Similarly, I'm using the random function. He's giving the random number between 0 and 1. Then similarly, I'm creating the now, the current timestamp. Okay, so recall this column. Uh, so if you see the my previous uh, lecture, if I reading this column called actor, so actor is, uh, you know, the five separators will be converted into five like this uh, in, in the list. So UDF can also be defined in PySpark initially for Scala UDF required data to be moved between JVM and Python, causing them to be slower. Scala UDF, this issue was resolved with Pandas, also known as a vectorized UDF. So uh, in the Spark 2.0, 2.3, uh, you can use vectorized UDF, or use a Apache arrow for, for data transfer and circumstances that need serialization. And serialization is basically like uh, encoding data. So let's do the practical, the whatever we learn. So I, I did practice before, but let's do first. So in this part, uh, Scala, everything is value. And then we can give like two digit uh, format uh, here. Okay. So and this will be written, you know, uh, what value it written? It will return, uh, we, I call the years. And data type will be integer. Okay. And then... Uh, as, as I said, the logics, the logic is simple here. Uh, first, what we are going to do, uh, we are uh, fine, we check here and then divide by 10, right? Then again, in this Scala, if you want to do divide by 10, then use this one and then uh, use uh, ampersand to give me f uh, second digits uh, in number. So, okay. And uh, so this one we converted and so we are going to use okay so this bracket I didn't close that's why it's giving error but we need to convert into a string otherwise it cannot add right so similar way so here I took here and then uh, ampersand first digit and again, we need to do conversion, convert into string to a string to a string. So it convert into a string. So it's already there. And then we have to put 
I think it should work. So now uh, let's uh, see the value Spark. Uh, we need to register this one, right? So in the Spark session. So the Spark is my session dot udf dot register and then the function name. You can give any name. Uh, e sort here format something like that why right, it's giving like that and then I can pass the UDF name what UDF name we created to TOW TWO so to my function my system is very slow if I'm passing hint so this is register right udf dot register dot sort function is a true yes and now uh, I want to see the data first spark dot sql and then select star from uh, this view so I just uh, would like to see the view value then we apply the udf let's run this code so how it's running let's see giving some errors it's too much funny right register register spark udf two years two digits okay two digits here we passed uh, okay we didn't close the bracket that's why it's giving we pass here integer here 10 and put some 10 then 2 string plus years percent 10 to a string that's correct spark dot udf dot register that this name to integer to year format oh okay okay we pass two things here that's why yeah too funny sometimes it gives a complicated you know it's very important let's see the output so it's uh, my program is running keep on running and uh, we can apply this UDF for our data I'm going to see the data how it looks like so this is data if you see uh, it really here looks like this so we are going to you know the apply UDF uh, so are we going to apply I just print here same line and then select uh, yes release here here and then uh, two digit fear format and uh, what is the input parameter is release here and uh, if I am not sure but we can use group by here if now two by let's see if it work or not hopefully it should give some value otherwise it will return a lot of values let's see it didn't work well well default database to my function is not registered to digit here to digit Okay, so this function name is this one. I passed a different name, so that's why it's giving error. Let's see. I'm running this code and the C. Similarly, we, uh, let's see the output here. Yeah, so it worked well, but we passed the wrong date. This release year is a different format. We cannot pass. Release year is correct. Release year date we pass. We should pass release year. So it's our mistake. We pass wrong because we expect it's a four digits and we are converting into two digits. Again, something wrong. Release year is in neither represent the group by. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's my syntax error. 
guys please be be with me i'm good in sql but today made uh, mistakes but anyway we can correct it and uh, we can practice more and more so we can learn something new yeah so you see that i did group by so 20 uh, 2001 it's written 01 2004 it's written 04 so 20006 is written 06 so the same way you can practice and also i'm doing here uh the similar list out here are uh, is the same but we can print a random now and current timestamp and various these are uh, you can practice i'm going to put this my code into github so please uh, like and subscribe my channel i'm just typing git add whatever changes i made then i'm doing git commit git commit minus m then i can give the today dates is what it two, two, three, 22 08 and 19 okay these are function is going git force so these changes will go to my github directory please uh, like and subscribe my github directory So this is what we 90 seconds we are go, uh, we post here and you can see this code and I'm going to put into my link here Spark QDF today classes so this is a function which we tried uh, please practice please like and subscribe my channel so I can create this variable uh, more videos.